All right, hello, boss women. It is Jen DeVore Richter, and I am joined by Stephanie Lincoln, who is the founder and CEO of an awesome company called Fireteam Whiskey. And welcome, Stephanie. To Hi, our Jen. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Um, the reason why I wanted to interview you is because you've been slaying it. You've been crushing it with your PR efforts and your media efforts. And so I want to talk about that and share your successes because success begets success. And I think it's important for the members of our community to hear how people are, um, you know, applying what is available to them and, and using the tools that are available to them and, and getting some results out of it, you know, so that they will become encouraged and inspired to do the same thing. But before we do that, I want to invite you, I'm going to open the floor to you for a couple of minutes here, just to give everyone a little bit of a background on Fireteam Whiskey and what your company does. Yeah, um, so Fireteam Whiskey is my concept that um, came about me working in the military medical health field for the last nine years. And I also am a army veteran. And um, over time, I definitely noticed the steady decline of the health and fitness of our um, force. And I, being in the fitness world and the mental health world, and got basically myself um, on a plan where it could dramatically change my health and my life. And I cut my body fat in half. So I decided I needed to introduce this concept to military members, veterans, and first responders. So I created Fire Team Whiskey. And uh, we launched in July, so it's a baby company. And um, but I worked on it for about a year and a half, all the concepts and and the programs to um, launch it this year. So we just launched, and um, I have found Jen uh, in the uh, networking world, and have learned so much from her about the direct marketing concepts and uh, joined the um, unmembership that she has and found this amazing PR pitch template. And I can tell you, I've sent out a ton of PR pitches before this and got exactly zero, <laughs> <laughs> zero responses. Um, so her template, um, you know, I tried it and, and sent it out and um, to, you know, not that many places. We were pretty strategic, but gotten fantastic results from it. So I can't thank you enough, Jen, for, you know, making it your mission to share all of your amazing tools with us, because it's definitely made a difference in um, the trajectory of my business. Awesome. You know, I think you appreciate that because, you know, I don't share anything with my members or my unmembers, I call them. Um, I don't share anything with the Boss Woman Rock community that I know <laughs> doesn't, you know, that if, if I, I only share things that I know work. And the reason why I know that they work is because I've developed them, you know, for myself or I have used the concepts or I've used the, used the pitches myself. And um, that template that you're talking about is the same exact template that I used in 2017 to land $108,000 in free media exposure for my, my brand and my business. And it really helped launch the new a new trajectory for my career so and i i know how i know that it works number one and i know how important that earned media can be for for a fledgling business like yours you know that's just in startup mode and you don't have gobs of cash to spend on advertising or hiring a big fancy expensive pr firm you know so you know i know that it it works and that I and I'm hoping that it provides value but you have to do the work you know so so tell me tell the viewers a little bit more about um, you know what you did and and what were you thinking about when you first read the template and what was different about it from my approach versus what you had been trying before yeah and I, I can definitely say we have um, wasted thousands of dollars um to uh, a, a pr person and um, marketing gurus by the way so um i have definitely learned in a short amount of time the hard way how ridiculously expensive this stuff is and it's not guaranteed to work um and so what's different from the template um, then the other PR stuff that we paid thousands of dollars for somebody to write 
Um, yeah. A, A is that it worked. I mean, that's the bottom line is A, there you go. I mean, that's that I should just shut up there. But um, B, what I noticed was, um, you know, I think, and I think what your approach and your template basically kind of just laid it all out. Like, here you go, news person, TV person, radio person, it is completely laid out for you. The intro, the, the uh, reason behind why we're talking about it, why this is timely and important to your audience. Here is this amazing person who has a lot of information to give you about this topic, breaks it down into simple things that your audience can take away, um, a valuable lesson or specific key steps. And um, it's just it, it just hands everything to the, the media person. They don't have to do anything but book you. They don't have to write anything out for the segment. It's all right there. So, I mean, it's a no brainer because they're like, oh, yeah, you just saved me probably two hours a time. So I think that's why it works so well. You know, I think one of the foundational things that I try to teach my members is to get inside the mind of your customer. And when you're pitching yourself for podcast interviews or TV interviews or radio interviews, any kind of interview, you have to get inside the mind of your customer, which is actually the producer of the TV show or the producer of the podcast or the radio show host. And the, what is the problem that they have that keeps them up at night? It's that, oh no, I have to go produce more content tomorrow. I have to produce another show with a bunch of segments on it. And it's a ton of work. What they do is uh, tough and it's involved and it requires a lot of energy. And so if we can make their life easier by taking that off of their plate, if we can just, like you said, you serve it up and you say, here's your segment written for you and, and you happen to be the person that is the star of the show, the, the star of the segment, it's almost like a no brainer. They can't say no almost, you know, mm -hmm. you're making it irresistible to them. Uh, because they, you're just making their life a whole lot easier. I've actually had a TV producer. I have a regular segment on a local TV show here. And the producer tells me all the time that he loves having me on because I make his job easy. Yeah. yeah. It's, you're just serving it up. And I, you know, I have a podcast and I get pitches all the time um, from people to that want to be a guest on my show. And they'll just, like I had a, a lady just this week, she was tweeting me and she said, I'd love to be a guest on your show to provide awesome value. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, that's not a pitch, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, goodbye. Like, where's the story idea? Where's the segment idea? You know? So what kind of story idea did you present and what kind of shows were you trying to land yourself on? So the um, story idea that I pitched was um, actually you, part of your, your pitch template is to kind of think about what's in what's in front of people's minds right now like maybe there's a holiday or something significant happening that um, makes what you're talking about relevant so when i sent this pitch out it was um it was the end of october so we were getting close to um veterans day or you know veterans month like i call it so um that was my pitch was hey veterans day is coming up and did you know that the military has a, a significant obesity issue? And here are some stats about this, how, you know, the, the force is affected, how it affects, um, you know, man work days and lost pro productivity, and then the billions of dollars spent on obesity related chronic health issues through the military health system. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then pitching, you know, how my program is taking a unique approach to combating the enemy of obesity. And then some um, simple steps that any viewer, you know, at home watching this could implement into their lives in order to improve upon their health and fitness. Right. And you booked radio shows and podcasts, correct? I did. Yes. So far. And so far. So, um, you know, so what's interesting and it's on the template too. I don't want to give away all the secrets, but on the, you know, I, one of the things that I also you know, want to be sure that my boss women know how to do is how to be a great guest, you know, how to be a great guest on a radio show and on a TV show. Cause they're kind of two different things. Um, if you think about it, a radio show, no one, no one sees you. Right. They're just hearing your voice, which is a different style of production than if you're on television where you're seen and heard. 
right? So, so um, I'm interested to see when you, uh, you know, take it to the next level and start landing television interviews, how creative you get with making your segment and making your story idea really visual, visual for television. You've got a great opportunity here because you always, you already have what we call um, an, an appropriate costume, you yeah. know, so you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> and the, the military style uh, outfit and things like that. And so that's that's one of the, the key advantages that you're going to have when you start booking yourself for for television interviews. Have you like what's holding you back from booking yourself on TV? Anything? Is there anything holding you back? Um, well, I that's when I, I initially sent those pitches um, to a couple of local TV stations. I haven't sent a follow up pitch, but um, I plan on sending actually this week a follow up pitch for the New Year's resolution situation. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about that. So my whole new pitch is going to be about the New Year's resolution issue and how 90 percent of people who make New Year's resolutions fail. So, okay. um, you know, they'll definitely want some health and fitness experts to talk about those things because that's forefront on people's minds after they stuff themselves after Christmas. So hopefully I'll be able to book some TV for yeah. that pitch. So take the little secret that I just gave you um, about your appropriate costume and make sure that you include a photo of yourself in your costume, in your, co I'm calling it co your, your uniform, right? Make sure that you include a photo of you and that you're demonstrating to them that you're gonna be a great visual um, character on their TV show. They really like that. On television, you kind of have to like amp it up a little bit, you know, because it's entertainment at the end of the long, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, getting booked on radio and podcasts and on TV shows is about the entertainment factor. And you already have that built in. Um, and so you're gonna be great. You're gonna be a shining star on that. Yeah, I'm glad you I'm glad you said that though, Jen, because I think that the fact that I did include my headshot, you know, my okay. very, you know, my professional headshot done by Julie Ryan. Um, I think that did help me um, book some things because I think that, you know, it kind of tells you that I'm taking this seriously and that I have a presence and you know, that I look friendly and I don't look like a hermit and <laughs> like, and I'm not just yeah. like, take, I'm not just taking a selfie with my duck lips, you know, like yeah. I'm a professional and, you know, yeah. I look the part. So highly recommend, like you said, you know, include your picture and that it's a professionally done picture because it does make you look like a professional. Yeah. Especially, you know, you know, I, I really love that um, having the beautiful photos like Julie does you know, for to be to being seen as the expert, but also for you, because you have this appropriate costume, because you have this uniform, so to speak, um, mm -hmm. if you don't have professional photos of yourself in your appropriate costume and in your uniform, I highly recommend that you get those and you use those in your pitch. <laughs> We're getting comments and they're saying, what's wrong with duck lips? Kathleen <laughs> 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 Ardra is just, you know. <laughs> Right I'm just place. jealous. I'm just jealous, Ardra. <laughs> right place, right time. Um, awesome. Well, congrats on your success. And I look forward to hearing how it continues to evolve and change your business. The other thing that, um, that I've done, just as a, in a final thought, the other thing that I've done is just start keeping a running track of all of my interviews. I put them on my website so people can see them so that other journalists can see them, that I'm a regular guest and I know how to present myself on television, that I know how to present myself on radio. And then maybe on a future episode or inside the Boss Women Rock Facebook group, I'll share how you can figure out the value of that media exposure just so that you kind of know what this is worth. Because if you like, if you tried to buy a 30 second TV commercial in the middle of the news, it would cost you thousands of dollars. And so if you're able to book like a four minute segment on, you know, on the local TV station, basically what you do is you take that, um, that rate that you would pay for 30 seconds and then you figure out how many minutes and that's how you come up with the, the value amount. And then there's another way to do that for radio commercials and print and all that stuff too. So we'll get into that in another episode, but thanks. Thank you so much for joining today, Stephanie. Highly appreciate it as we're going into the Christmas uh, break, the holiday break. So thank you for taking the time to share your success. And I know you're going to have a lot more coming your way. If you're interested in getting access to the 108 K perfect PR pitch template that Stephanie and I and other members of our community are using, you just have to become a member of my program and you can do that at 
uh, www.bosswomenrock.com. And there's an amazing value-based offer there that you shouldn't be able to resist because the price of just getting uh, the PR opportunities alone is worth the price of admission. Plus there are hundreds of other tools that are available to you. So um, I hope that you have found this video to be a benefit to you. And uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. And thank you again, Stephanie. Thank you, Jen. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.